the developer experience layer. The focus on productivity, including things like declarative security instead of programmatic. So you can create a very sophisticated security structure with minimal work. It's enforced by the system. Things like dynamic account permissions and so forth. Crucial utility functions like the ability to freeze and replace a malfunctioning contract. No one in this room will ever write bug-free code. <laughs> Any code that's meaningful, when you deploy it, something will happen. And if you're on a totally immutable blockchain that does not have a feature like this, you could be in deep trouble. Because of the DAO hack, and the parity wallet hack, and so forth. We know that to be prime time, to really get this out to the masses, we're going to have to allow you to write the best code you can, deploy it, find the bug, and fix it in production. This allows you to do that. Right, with built-in data structures, you don't have to recreate data structures as a program. And even contract level governance, so that humans can make human decisions within the ecosystem created by your application. I mentioned the Swiss village analogy. This constitution and manageability layer is that. This is the crucial differentiator, in my opinion. It's simply this. We appoint roles not by people fighting law the jungle style, not being appointed by the king through a democratic process, a collective decision-making process, a referendum. Who will be a block producer? Who will take on certain roles? If we want to change the rules, if we decide that 21 block producers is not the right number, we want to go to 22 or 30 or 15, whatever, we vote on it. We change the rules of the vote. Not a hard fork. And we're baking into the platform the expectation of arbitration to solve problems. This is the essence of smart contracts. Smart contracts were invented long before blockchain. And in a smart contract, you have two elements. You've got the intention of the people who entered into the contract, and then you've got the execution of the code. And most of the time, they're the same, and we're all happy, but occasionally they differ. And in our environment, the intention of the people outranks what the code does. And what that means is you or the other party or two of you together can go, oh my gosh, that's not what we intended. I'm so sorry. Let's freeze this and go into arbitration. The arbitrator can overrule what happened to make what we both want to have happen actually happen. You were overcharged. You were undercharged. It says you still have it when you don't. And of course, of course, at the bottom of most layers, security and consensus. Hard consensus, the hard cryptography that keeps all blockchain safe. We use soft consensus, which is a lower level of requirement that, for instance, the block producers have to agree on what order in which they'll make transactions in a particular round. They all have to agree, but no one else really has to. That's soft consensus. And of course, delegated group of state. That's the architecture, and you know a little bit more about how we're imagining this playing out. What you can do next, well, download and build the software. Sign up for our developer support list at developers at block one Or, and or, talk to our venture capital people at DC at block one so you may have been following in the news, we've been taking in a great deal of money at Lockout One. That money is being pushed back out into the community in the form of investments in the creation of applications that will run on top of the platform to create as much value for the platform as possible. And I see no reason why your project should not be funded. They might think differently. <laughs> <laughs> but at the very least, we need to talk. And of course, engage with our virtual community and join our Telegram channel. I want to ask Kev to stand up. So, Kev over here from the US Go. Which is the, the premier non Telegram, non chat forum.
for discussions of all things EOS and EOS.io. The block producers are in there, people like me working on governance, uh, people who are either have projects and want to staff, or people who want to staff a project, or matchmaking on EOS Go. If you're not on EOS Go yet, and you're interested in the EOS ecosystem, you need to get on that platform. And get on the Telegram channel. No, I'm sure I've answered 99% of the questions in the room, but there might be more to lingering. So we left a little time for some Q&A. So if you have a question, raise your hand. I'll run over to you with the mic so everybody else in the room can hear you. Yes, the mic runner's here. 